Praise the Lord. Today I would like to discuss Matthew chapter 13 verses 10 to 17. Matthew chapter 13 verses 10 to 17. In this chapter, Jesus was talking about the parable or the parable of Jesus. He always trying to or he spent more time to establish or he spent the more time to talk or give awareness about the kingdom of God. That was one of his um, theme of his message. So here he is explaining about how will be the kingdom of heaven and how it will applicable to the man. And he was saying that uh, the kingdom of heaven uh, and also the how we are receiving the word of God and he is um, uh, the plowing man and his example of plowing man and saying everything. But finally the disciples came to him and say, asked him. We couldn't understand the uh, meaning of that um, the parable what you said can you explain to me then Jesus was talking to his disciples secretly so before till now we can see that they were uh, he was explaining in the public but right now or oh, this chap this context Jesus was talking in secret so if anyone listen me we you and I always should have a secret relationship with the Jesus you should have to be fine Jesus in your secret prayer Jesus in your a secret time praise the lord and matthew 13 and 10 verse 17 and verse 10 says the disciples came to him and asked why do you speak to the people in parables so here the question they were asking a question that why do you speak to the people in the parables we can see that on some reasons jesus was talking in the parables some of the reasons i can say that they reveal the truth in the form intended to the create more interest another one is make known new truth to interest to Yes, and other one make known mysteries by comparison with the things already known conceal truth from disinterested hearers and rebels at heart another one are true to those who love it and want more of it take truth away from those who hate and do not want it to fulfill prophecy so basically to the people get a better understanding whoever want to get more idea about the bible so they could get the more uh, understanding that's why jesus was talking in parables and here verse 11 he replied because the knowledge of the secret of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you but not to them because the whoever whenever uh, people are knowing more about the parables then the jesus said because you get that um, opportunity to know more about the kingdom of heaven and the king always pray that to god please come to your kingdom of heaven to this earth praise the lord and here we see a mystery is a secret privately hidden but now made clear so that no mystery remains for anyone who will accept the truth as revealed at the present the realm of profession for tares and the wheat and the good and bad are now mixed together in the same kingdom at the end of this age the two classes will be separated the professors who are not following will be sent to hell and the possessors of the kingdom of will continue it is a little aspect forever so here Jesus separate the people that the first category the, the people are hearing the kingdom of heaven they are hearing the word of God but they are not following in his life the Jesus said that I will catch those people and send them to the fire or eternal hell and if they are persecuted with the kingdom for kingdom of heaven or they are completely following the kingdom of heaven they will get into the heaven praise the Lord so who was told whoever has will given more and they will have an abundance whoever does not have even what they have will be taken from them here we can clearly see that jesus said whoever has will be given more so whoever already have here is like a clear difference between the believers and unbelievers believers increase in knowledge but unbelievers go into more ignorance and the darkness so always if you consider the believer they have the hunger and thirst to more and more about the jesus they have the hunger and thirst to more dig more in the bible and to find a hidden treasure in the bible they always trying to grow in bible but the unbelievers they always find the reason to reject Christ they find always find a loophole in the Bible which they can't follow so but uh, we can be moved to the believers category and verse 
uh, again this is the work of man's own unbelief and rebellion and the work of satan that's why they the uh, they are not following whoever does not have the knowledge of the god they will god will take their uh, idea about the god from them and give to others verse 13 this is why i speak to them in parables though seeing they do not see though hearing they do not hear or understand in them is fulfilled the prophecy of isaiah so here even though they are out the eyes to see that jesus died for their sin and they jesus was literally for them but they are not accepting or seeing that though hearing they do not hear or understand it what jesus was saying here they can see but they refuse to see they can hear but they refuse to hear they are capable of understanding but they refuse to accept the truth desiring to hold on to their old religion tradition and provisions in presence or to walking in the light of new truth they are not ready to ride cast out or uh, avoid the old tradition and follow a new path of christ verse 14 in them is fulfilled the prophecy of isaiah you will be ever hearing but never understanding you will be ever seeing but never perceiving verse 15 for these people here has become calloused they hardly hear with their ears and they have closed their eyes otherwise they might see with their eyes hear with their ears understand with their heart and turn and i would heal them as a believer oh people are turned to the christ christian oh my brave my dear brothers and sister i will tell that if you want the healing from the god let us start to hear from him god or oh, take a strong de determination right now that god i am ready to follow you I'm ready to hear what you are talking. I'm ready to see and I'm willing and I'm open my eyes to see what you've done for me. And I am open my eyes of my heart to know more and more about you, my dear father. Then here he say, maybe uh, to make fat or stupid or incivile or inattentive or the dull and the callous, the people were not following Jesus or following or not understanding. And the idea here is that the people become this way little by little until they were past normal vigorous obedience to truth and righteous three things they were falling to do see hear and understand with the heart so he uh, verse 16 but blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear and god i'm open my eyes of my heart to see more about you i am open my ears to know more about hear more about you my dear father i'm to be become a blessed category i need a spiritual healing from you there are two main blessings for all believers first one is the conversion a change of direction a new walk with the god and the secondly the boldly healing a change of health a new health in god you will get a new health in the god and a change of direction a new walk with the god that's the main thing and verse 17 say for truly i tell you many prophet and righteous people long to see what you see but did not see it and to hear what you are here but did not hear it here again i say that many people before him and after him they were trying to see and they're trying to they want to worship him more properly but their situation they were entrapped with the satan or their situation or their background and everything they couldn't able to or the many people they don't know or many people they were trying to get more authorized word of god in their hand and many people they don't have a good sunday service good good meeting the people are struggling but we got this good opportunity to praise and worship god or stand strong stand strong for god in god so take that one and let us say together say to god that god i'm open my eyes to no see you i'm open my ears to hear more from you and i'm open my heart to understand more about you god is any spiritual blind any spiritual mute or spiritual unbalanced or the spiritual 
blindness please heal me right now any sickness because you will heal us if we are ready to hear and listen you jesus reveal that kingdom of heaven to our heart we want to know more and more about you my dear father god bless you amen